story of Mike Olive, who his story was so controversial and is still controversial to our society. So today I want to quote what he, he has said here. What he has said is terrifying and you are going to be shocked. And uh, I'm going to start reading and I quote, this is not me. This is from Mike Olive himself. And I quote, Mike Olive responds to critics. I came, I saw, I conquered. When a friend of mine told me that Kenya women are loose, I didn't believe, I couldn't believe it until I came to Kenya for a holiday with a mission. And yes, I swung into action immediately with postpaid lodge service in major cities in and in discriminately went for them tall and short slim and fat single and taken married but loose i left no stone unturned today i agree with my friends Ashon, friends Ashon's, in fact, Luz is an, an statement of what these women are. Just show them a dollar and you will see them shake. A dollar melt them like ice in summer perhaps my skin color to excite them today i'm surprised some people want me to be arrested for which crime spend my own money now he's asking having good time with with cheap women or posting photos of us oh no kenyans it's willing buyer, willing seller deal. I forced no one. I raped no one. I just showed them a dollar. If you can be terrified by those few photos, what if I post all of them? I am sure these hot videos would send you all into a coma a rumor has it that i am hiv positive that's neither here nor there but if not i but we my aim was posting those few photos wasn't to hurt anyone that's what he's saying my aim of posting those few photos wasn't wasn't to hurt anyone i just wanted to show you how cheap your women are even those who call themselves independent women independent women have you ever asked yourself where they get their independence from they trade their dignity for independence we have exploited them well without looking back i said we because i am not the only dignity buyer here the rest aren't brave enough to show it or maybe they haven't eat the target consequently i believe i have no case to answer all the hundreds of women i have smashed were adults 
and I paid for all I needed to them or in other words and I paid for all the service they offered those who accepted to eat build have others said more kindly don't crucify me I will be leaving soon and for you cheap women you can block me on social media but you cannot unmourn my name so unmourn is you and then there's a dash then m o a n you can google and research it and read it for yourself don't forget to hit the notification bell to like the video and also to leave the comment below don't forget to hit that notification bell to leave the comment down below i want to hear from you what what's in your mind so leave the comment below and like the video share with your family share with your friends <coughs> so that this can be a lesson to our society and to community at large i feel sorry and i don't know what was what what crossed to their mind to these women to these ladies because some were married but i don't know why what, i don't know why and for those who are prepared to for the wedding for those who are prepared to get married the men decided to cancel their wedding why because you have shown yourself that you are cheap so even right now i'm very shocked because i thought that he, he, he came to nairobi but right now he have already opened up and they say that he went from city to city he went from one city to another so it means that it's all kenya countrywide and also he went to uganda too till next time bye